Today I want to talk about a bug in Warrock that I found out about around a week ago and it is probably one of the worst bugs in the game that I've ever come across. So you know normally how we talk about lag on Warrock and how everyone's warping on the screen and coming through walls. This bug has been in the game for at least one year minimum but I wouldn't be surprised if it's been in the game for even longer than that like maybe even two to three years as I remember many people warping back in the days of Nexon. So I am going to get to the bug, but first I need to do some explaining on how everything works. So, in order to explain the bug, I first need to quickly explain how the ticks or packets for updating the player's positions work. This might be a bit technical for some people, but I'll try and make it as simple as possible, so just bear with me. The way we see each other in game is through packets that get sent from our client to the server and then that server feeds those players positions back to the players when they need them. We receive the packet and we move the player in game to those coordinates. Now how frequently we are sending these packets to the server is what is important here and for the simplicity in this video we will refer to these packets as ticks. So if I were to send around 10 ticks a second to the server my character will update on other people's screens around every one tenth of a second or every 100 milliseconds assuming that there are 1000 milliseconds in a second. Now I'm not here to give the current exact numbers for how many ticks per seconds we are dealing with here for smooth and acceptable gameplay but for this example I'm just going to say that we are expecting the game to deal with around 10 ticks per second to have nice smooth gameplay. So let's assume that 10 ticks per second is nice, smooth, normal gameplay. Now if we had a lower ticks per second number, like 5 ticks per second for example, that's half of 10 and we would be sending a tick every 200 milliseconds. For the sake of simplicity, let's assume that 5 ticks per second is bad and warping gameplay that we do not like. Everyone we encounter in game that is warping and lagging, let's just assume that they are sending us 5 ticks per second. Now you're probably wondering why I'm assuming this, and this is where the bug comes in. This bug can effectively start happening for anyone who leaves and joins a lot of rooms, and normally happens for me after about an hour of gameplay. Here are some examples of a guy with 5 ticks per second killing people. I'm sure you guys have all seen this kind of lagging work before, and I'm sure it's nothing new to you guys. As you can see, once I've played for around an hour, I start lagging for everyone. It's not my internet, and logging out and in the server doesn't fix it. The only way I can fix my laggy character is by restarting the entire game. So what is the bug exactly? Well I believe the bug is this. If your character drops down to 0 bars of ping, you will permanently be downgraded from your normal 10 ticks per second down to 5 ticks per second. If you recover from 0 bars of ping and get back up to 4 again and have perfectly stable internet, you will still permanently lag in the game. So you think that makes no sense? Well, it gets even worse because we found a way to replicate the bug with a 100% replication rate for us. Every time you're in game and you go to your options and press save and that bit of time where your screen goes black, the game is frozen, which means you're not sending any pings to the server. Which means you risk your ping going back down to zero bars for just a second and if the server ever receives the fact that you went down to zero ping, it will then permanently put you down in the 5 ticks per second, aka lag mode. Again, the only way to go back up to 10 ticks per second is to restart the entire game. And the next clip is a comparison between 10 TPS and 5 TPS. As you can see, no issues here. He rolls straight around the cabinets. But on 5 TPS, he goes straight through the wall and straight through the cabinets. So you know how going to options and pressing save and how the whole screen goes black is bad? Well, it turns out that all you have to do to trigger this bug is to simply just start the game.
it, it makes perfect sense. I mean, if you keep playing for around an hour or so, chances are you've probably joined around 10 games already. That's the equivalent of pressing save in the options around 10 times. That's usually enough times to trigger the bug and make the server register you as a zero ping player for a second. One extra thing I've noticed is that when trying to replicate this bug, if you keep changing your resolution setting each time you hit save in the options menu, I get the bug to replicate more consistently. I think this is because when changing resolutions, your monitor and game takes longer to refresh and the whole game goes black and the server takes longer to receive a ping from your client. And once again, this is just a theory, but bearing that in mind, I think that anyone who plays on a resolution that is lower than their native monitor resolution will have this bug occur a lot more frequently to them. Because I've noted people that say they never have this lag bug affect them, and I ask them what resolution they play on, and they always tell me the same thing. They always tell me that they play on 1920 by 1080 which is more commonly than not their native monitor resolution. If they play on their native monitor resolution, then their game isn't going to go to black for as long as someone who plays on a lower resolution. So why does this bug even exist in the game? I think this bug exists on either the server or the client, and I think it is an intentional bit of code put in place in an attempt to deal with laggers in the game. But it makes absolutely no sense to me. If someone has a high ping, then all that means is that it's latency. There's no reason to limit the amount of ticks per second that they send to the server. So I'm gonna make this video public and hopefully Dream Execution do something about this bug and fix it. I think if this bug is fixed, we will all see a huge improvement in gameplay. And if my theory is right, I think this is an intentional bit of code that they've added into the game and they've just overlooked it and I think it's easily solvable. I don't think this would take much work to fix at all, if that is the case. And that's all for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.